Hey everyone, it's Alex from Loop Marketing. Um, I want to take a moment today to share a tool that we've been using, something that uh, we found has actually uh, made us quite a bit more productive as a team. So I thought it'd be fun to share because uh, I think a lot of our clients, a lot of you know uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, salespeople uh, could definitely benefit from a, a tool such as Otter. So I wanted to share it, kind of talk about how we use it, how we found it and, and kind of what problems it, it solves for us. Um, we at Loop, we really kind of look for opportunities to make our lives easier, be able to, you know, um, do things faster and really just uh, kind of streamline what we do to uh, yeah, be more effective, do better work for clients. So that's, that's kind of the goal. So let's talk about Otter. So Otter.ai is a, a voice transcription tool. So really what it does is it will take um, anything you're, you're saying within a meeting um, across, you know, multiple people, whether it's by yourself and, and it'll just transcribe what you're saying in real time. So if I were to kind of go into this, uh, we can look into uh, the record button. So if we click here, and you can see there is a, a note uh, that's created and you can see that my voice is being written as we're going through here. It's not perfect, but it's pretty bang on. Uh, so let's talk about why uh, why we use Otter and how we use it. So really um, at this point, we pretty much use it for all, all meetings, um, internal meetings, whether you know um, we're collaborating on a client account, whether we're you know just brainstorming, getting some ideas, um, or we're doing client meetings where we're really starting to uh, to work into a project and you know get some feedback and ask questions about a client account or going through let's say you know a website uh, update changes that kind of thing. So the reason why we use it is short-term memory is obviously always going to be a challenge. There's so many things going on when we're in the middle of a call. You know we're, we're talking where we're saying okay well we can do this 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 this. Um, it's very very easy to to forget things, to drop things, and really what what we always or what I have always wanted is just a way to kind of like capture everything. Um, and just parse out the relevant information and then put it into our project management software and, and really execute on, on the client projects. So then how have I tried to solve this in the past? Uh, I've tried to take diligent notes, write furiously uh, while, while we're in client meetings. And the biggest pain point that I've seen there is you, you lose that conversational flow. Um, we're talking and then while somebody's saying something or the client's saying something and you're, you're typing and saying, okay, what did we say? Okay, this, 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 this. And it's just like you lose that kind of flow where we really kind of find like the magic of, of ideas when, when we're doing marketing where it's like, okay, well, I want to change this feature on the website. Great. And I think what would be a good idea is if we add this element to it. Awesome. Well, if I have to slow down the pace and type out everything line by line, it just doesn't have like the same flow, uh, which makes it very, very difficult to uh, just, yeah, have that, that relationship and really make sure obviously you're, you're getting to, uh, the, the end result that, that we all want is, you know, great marketing, you know, high quality design and really making sure everything flows together to, uh, to build the client's business. So, um, so that's always been a pain point, something that we've always wanted to figure out. So then the second thing, so how did we try and solve that? Um, <clears throat> brought on team members where you kind of have shadow uh, meeting guests that, that are taking notes. So whether, you know, EAs or our team members on, you know, our, our team that are sitting. So, it works and it's something that um, has de was definitely effective and, and had helped, but the problem is now you need two people in every single meeting. Um, and then from there, there's also that, uh, that dynamic change when you have somebody that isn't necessarily actively engaged in the conversation, but is there kind of taking notes. Again, it just kind of throws things off, changes things a little bit. The other piece is you're also relying on that person's brain to, to pull out the relevant information uh, that you need to take away. So when I'm you know leading an account, I really want to make sure that uh, uh, we have kind of our task list and we know what we need to do. Like I have what I want to make notes on and I can't constantly be thinking, making sure that everyone's hearing the same thing. So when you have a tool like Otter, you can really see that everything is just ingested within the system. Uh, and if you don't need it, fantastic. We have tons of meetings where, you know, the action and they're so crystal clear that we don't need to review the Otter call logs. But let's say now we're a month down the road or we're, you know, a day down the road, depending on how busy things are. And it's like, okay, what do we say there? What do we want? And then we can just quickly go back and reference. So we have the note here. So let's say, you know, uh, demo of Otter is what we would say, you know, this is. Once we're done the call, we stop it. And now from here, it's going to go through and process. And so we can notify once the conversation is processed. So we'll wait for that. So really what... Um, what I love about Otter is one, super intelligent. It breaks up the conversational flow so that, you know, it has, you know, Alex is speaking and then we have, you know, Matt is speaking or Richard is speaking or, or whoever, or Duvall is talking and it really kind of shows, it breaks up that conversational flow so you can see exactly what's being said. It's super searchable so that you can type in, okay, I know we were talking about the homepage of a website. Great, okay, type in, you know, command find, find the homepage, great. And we can get to that piece and you can start to replay back what that conversation was and you can read the note. So again, you can really find it very quickly. 
um, compared to just like a regular audio recording that is just there. You have to listen through the whole thing uh, to try and find one little piece of information, which you're just never going to do in practice it is the challenge. So for us, having this searchable um, log has been super effective. So again, we can go here, kind of pulls out summary keywords, not something that we've used a ton at this point, but where we have kind of the logs, obviously of what was said. So in this scenario, it's all my voice. Um, so it's really gonna know that it's all me and you can flag obviously who was talking and then it'll go through and it'll think and tag it based on who is talking. And as you add people to the system, you really start to build out that, uh, that model um, or that system a little further. So it's really going to see obviously who's talking, who said what, um, and then very easily, we can take this and we can share it very easily. So if you want to share it, great. And you can share that note and then have it as a team. When you want to go back and play back, so I want to look at, you know, some of our conversations. So, you know, what I said before, so that's always been a pain point. Great. We can go back and look and we can actually listen to what it was. And for me, I don't know if there's any other audible users, but uh, listening to anything on 1x speed is always a, uh, a nightmare. So being able to jump back and do it 2x is, yeah, way easier to go through and review your notes. Okay, so now, yeah, we have that here um, and we can really just look through, figure out what was said and, uh, and have effective notes uh, to, to go on uh, to, to action these items that come out of the conversations. So when I first started using Otter, like one, I thought this was the coolest thing of all time. Um, I've really looked into how um, you can take notes and really build a, uh, a system to really ingest and have, you know, the perfect memory, so to speak. And, I, and I've looked at, you know, um, EAs or executive assistants. I've looked at, you know, tools to record and have, you know, transcription services, that kind of thing. But I find Otter, uh, one for the cost, super affordable for an individual. I think it's 13 bucks a month USD. Um, and then two, just like the quality of the transcriptions, super effective. Um, so the only thing I don't like about Otter as of right now, uh, if I had to, yeah, if I had to find areas that, that aren't great or things that I would improve, um, I don't like how siloed Otter is right now. So it really kind of lives and breathes in Otter on its own. So it's its own tool that really sticks there um, and uh, doesn't really integrate with other things. That hasn't been a big pain point as of yet, uh, but it would definitely be nice if there were, you know, integrations with, you know, our project management tools or we could sync it with, you know, ClickUp is what we use for, for task management and our project management of the team. So I'd, I'd love to see that. Um, other than that, it, it's pretty excellent. There are some good integrations with Zoom, um, you know, Google, there, there's a lot of different, obviously, tools, but I find I just keep, you know, uh, a link to Otter pinned at all times. And then on my phone, I just have the, the Otter little um, add-on right there that you just click record at any point and you can really start and have that, um, that log going very, very quickly. So overall, I think it's, it's pretty excellent. Um, who should be using Otter? Honestly, probably any, um, anyone that works within a team or has, uh, you know, project meetings, any sort of like uh, cross communication or cross team communication, where you really need to have a record that you can share and really keep diligent notes. So really anyone that takes notes, um, any salespeople being able to reference, you know, elements of, of a client conversation from, you know, six months ago is just so critical and having kind of that perfect memory, like I said, it really just makes it makes you more effective. And, and the reality is for the client, uh, on the other side of that is they want you to remember everything. They want you to have a very clear picture of what you talked about. And if that means we have to leverage technology to really have that perfect brain or perfect memory, it's just a better experience overall. So yeah, salespeople, I think business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, anyone that works in you know, teams, anyone that uh, yeah focuses on that, like there's there's a ton of benefits uh, for, for Otter, but I pretty much use it for all my meetings at this point and, and I found it's made me way more effective. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this guide um, helps a little bit. Uh, one of the things that uh, I've noticed is, you know, we're constantly at, at Loop really looking for new tools and, and we use a ton of them um, just to make uh, our lives and our, our clients' lives easier. So really thought it'd be effective if uh, we start sharing a couple of these little like tips, tricks uh, and, and going over, yeah, how we uh, how we use tools to to make marketing better, make, you know, businesses run better. And yeah, hopefully that that's effective. If anyone has any questions, let me know. If anyone uses Otter or uses something else for, for voice transcription, let me know. I'm always interested in exploring options, but uh, what we found Otter has definitely been the, the best uh, at this point. So thanks everyone for, for listening. And yeah, if this is beneficial, let me know and uh, we can do similar guides with the, the other tools we use. So yeah, thanks everyone.